Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, what is unique about today, it is the last full day of winter. Very emotional. Shannon's clapping. Of course, Mother Nature doesn't always follow the uh, weather calendar, but, you know, heading in the right direction. Spring arrives tomorrow, at least the calendar version. Days are getting longer. We've got a beautiful day down in Newport. I mean, cool. I mean, early spring is usually, you know, seasonably cool. Temps are in the mid-40s right now with a blend of fair weather clouds and sunshine. 43 Newport, uh, Providence 46, and Smithfield 44. Now we are setting up for another chilly night tonight, and that's typical late winter, early spring. The nights are still pretty chilly. Smithfield now coming in at 45. Essentially dry this evening. Spring arrives. I mean, granted, it's the calendar version, but it's it's nice. At uh, 5:58, the vernal equinox tomorrow evening. Beautiful day. A little milder. Temperature closer to 50 with some sunshine. Watching Thursday night for a coastal storm. No snow, but rather some rain and a, a bit of wind. I don't think the rain or the wind is extreme, but both should be widespread, especially Thursday night. It'll spill over into a little bit of Friday morning, though. A good portion of Friday looks dry. There may be some lingering showers on Friday, but not as much as what we'll get on Thursday night. Few flurries and sprinkles moving through Connecticut right now. A lot of these drying up. There's one near Westley that could be a quick sprinkle, but essentially a dry evening. A number of weather players that we're looking at. A one two moisture off the southeast and then another system off your TV set uh, dropping down from Canada. All three will more or less kind of merge together, work together to form a developing storm off the mid-Atlantic coastline uh, tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. This will bring us some rain and wind, not so much during the day tomorrow, but tomorrow night into uh, Friday morning. And note the north-south temperature gradient, very typical for early spring, cool to the north, uh, seasonably mild to the south. There's no real bitter or extreme cold around. That's why for us this is a rain situation and not snow, though the mountains of northern New England on Friday could actually get quite a bit of snow, Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Locally, we'll put this into motion, watch the time bar up on top, take you through the overnight hours, pretty simple, clear, chilly and dry. Overnight towards daybreak, temps dropping down to the upper 20s. Sunshine getting to work and we'll finally nudge 50 in a few locations. So a comfortable day tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock looking good. Clear temperatures falling back into the 30s. 11 o'clock tomorrow night we're clear and a temperature between roughly 30 and 35. So a decent Wednesday. I'm mostly sunny. Chilly start early tomorrow morning at 34. And then a nice recovery in the afternoon with highs reaching uh, upper 40s to low 50s with a good deal of sunshine. Seven day forecast shows the rain on Thursday, not so much during the day. In fact, it'll actually start off dry in the morning, but by late day, early evening, and especially on Thursday night, some widespread rain and gusty wind spilling, spilling over into Friday morning, 51. Weekend, it dries out. Sunday, still the pick day, only because there's less wind and it's a lot milder. It's very windy and cool, but dry on Saturday. But look at that, mid to upper 50s on Sunday with a mainly uh, sunny sky. So spring calendar version starts tomorrow. I want to thank Mrs. Petraka for bringing in Oh, yes. for uh, everyone in the newsroom. She did. Delicious. Uh, yeah, happy St. Joseph's Day. I think you uh, made our day. And Rydot is having a little fun, too, reminding drivers to slow down Saint, this St. Joseph's Day. Eyewitness News captured this sign on Route 114 that reads, there are plenty of Zapolis left. Slow down. 